Today on Teamy Outdoors, this Captain Rick crazy. gets us ready for the salmon run. Captain Rick explains how local businesses rely on the Salmon River to survive. As Eddie's restaurant and lots of limits charters brace themselves for the thousands of anglers to hit Pulaski, New York. The Chris Jones Project is underway and wounded vet Chris Jones is asking for your support. Outdoors, presented by Back Off. All right, everyone, Captain Rick. We are on Lake Ontario today chasing the Kings down. Uh, it's the third week of August, so they're really starting to kick in. We have a new member to our family who's going to be doing some hunting joining us today for Teamy Outdoors. And I'd like to introduce you all for the first time to Stacy Campbell. Hey, guys, how are you? Fish on! See, we already got her trained. Two days, she got it. Salmon are getting ready for their annual run up the Salmon River in about three weeks. They should be poking in there pretty good. The whole town here depends on this salmon run to keep themselves going. Uh, without the fish, the motels wouldn't be here, restaurants, tackle shops, etc. So this is a centerpiece for everybody's business and it's very important to the captains and all the local business owners in our area here in Pulaski. Us here at Teamy Outdoors have taken on the task of something that nobody's ever done before and that's documenting the salmon run from the lake all the way up to the Salmon River Hatchery. The show is called The Run. It's gonna air on Time Warner Sports in 2013. Our first piece is gonna be at Eddie's Bar and Grill in Pulaski, New York, which is a hot spot for all the anglers, including uh, some of the other restaurants. We're gonna introduce you to the bartender. Her name is Red. Hey, I'm Red, like the color, and this is where I work. Salmon season is great, it's uh, total chaos. So many people in here, this bar is packed, wall to wall. Fishermen screaming for drinks, waiting for tables, it's phenomenal. And that's when we make our money. It's so crazy busy for those four weeks that we don't, we're ready for it to end, but I wouldn't get sick of it. I would like being busy like that all the time. Being busy means I'm making money. There is one guy that comes up and that always, always gets a uh, SoCo muddled old fashioned, which is a pain in the ass to make if you're like really busy. It's it's crazy. Christmas will be good. You can get done with money. Here you go, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. I'm going to tell you now, just talking about the salmon run gives me goosebumps. Every year it does, but now that we're documenting it, we're even more excited about it. You can stick with us and see what we're doing on Facebook by typing in the Run TV series. Up next, we're going to get Stacy on a Big King Salmon off Lake Ontario. Fish on, baby! Fish on! Team E Outdoors is brought to you by Back Off, a healthy alternative with no regrets. NASCAR Racing Experience, the authentic racing experience. The Great Outdoors, your RV Superstore in Fulton, New York. The Chris Jones Project, an Indiegogo fundraiser to help a wounded vet out. And by All Season Sports, your single equipment source for the New York Salmon River. Life is a journey for all of us. Used to be all about you. But things change. You get married, have kids, responsibilities. People who depend on you. Back Off makes a safe alternative to help you quit smokeless tobacco. Do it for them. Give us a call. Intense. 
NASCAR Racing Experience. The authentic racing experience. Packages start at just 329. Thrilling. Yeah! The Rush. <laughs> the NASCAR Racing Experience. Call 1-877-RACELAP today. Captain Rick here for All Season Sports in Pulaski, New York. Whether you're on the Salmon River or in Alaska, whether you're trolling Big Lake, Ontario for Dime Bright Kings, or your style is fly fishing or spin gear fishing on the Salmon River, Woo! All Season Sports is your single source for fishing equipment. Fish on, baby! Stop in or shop online at allseasonsports.com. Tell them Captain Rick sent you. Fish on. Are you really prepared? Hourly barometric pressure changes. Oh, yeah. Real time full lunar information. Yeah. Nice. Drift point wind maps. See the wind. Fish marks. Quick save your key spot. Nice. So don't just get the outlook, <laughs> get the scout look. If you've never fished for King Salmon in a River Derby, this is your chance. The largest, biggest King Salmon. The largest River Derby and festival in the Northeast on the famous Salmon River in Palatsky, New York. Thousands and thousands of dollars on the line. Family fun, food, and entertainment. Caught on the world famous Salmon River in Palatsky, New York. For more info, visit SalmonRiverDerby.com. You're watching Team E Outdoors, presented by Back Off. All right, welcome back to Team E Outdoors. We got Stacy locked up on a king, and we're going to put her to the test. Woo! You got to let these big fish run. When he's not pulling, you're working. 12 o'clock, reel down fast. Stop. Why do they draw the tourists? Look at the rod right now. It says enough. You cannot stop these fish. You cannot control them. They are in control. All you can do is hope to keep them on long enough to put them in the net. This is the important part right here. This is the important part, nice and easy. Don't get, don't get impatient now. This is where your patience is gonna pay off. We're about right where she started the rod. This is a dippy rod. It's a dippy diver. It was out 300. Um, took her out to about 425, and she just got back to 307 right now. So she's still got a lot of butt kicking left to do. Or I should say the fish is kicking her butt right now. No, it's not. Come on. <laughs> yeah, right. You better get that fish get in. <laughs> you lose them, I'm throwing you over. <laughs> and this fishery right here is built for these fish. I mean, they, they control the bait population in here for us. Keep uh, everything on an even keel. And uh, there was 100 boats out here today, and that's why. Because of what she's going through right now, which everybody should experience. I'm going to slow it right down. This is what you can expect. This is why it's gonna be so, so cool to see the run. All you guys out there sitting on your couches, man, get up, give one of these guys a call, including myself that's involved in the run. You can be doing this with your family, your kids. Yeah, it don't matter. Grandfathers, grandmothers, it's all good. We'll get you out here. This is why I love what I do. So see this right here. It's all about the people. It's on, baby! It's on, girl! Straight up. Straight up. You ain't ready yet. This is what you gotta do while we're showing it to you. Woo, go baby! This right here is a monster fish. I can't wait till the run kicks in full nighttime fishing river. This is just the beginning right here, but this is a beautiful fish and Stacy's first oh my God. with me and her first fresh one. So. This is awesome, awesome catch. Okay, check out these local businesses listed here. Without their support, the run wouldn't be possible this year. We wouldn't be bringing you this documentary on these beautiful kings we have in upstate New York, Lake Ontario. We invite you to come check us out too. Fish, oh, we gotta get the rods back out. Trey, we'll get you another one. Good job. Thank you.
Up next, we jump aboard lots of limits and head for the shipping channel on Lake Ontario. Life is a journey for all of us. Used to be all about you. But things change. You get married, have kids, responsibilities. People who depend on you. Back Off makes a safe alternative to help you quit smokeless tobacco. Do it for them. Give us a call. This is Captain Rick for All Season Sports in Pulaski, New York. Bait, bait, bait. All Season Sports has everything from rubber eggs to real salmon eggs, flies, and the cleanest bait tanks in the Northeast. Whether your rods and reels are Okuma, Shimano, or the ever forgiven Ugly Stick, All Season Sports is what you need to land that big fish. Whether you like stocking foot with boots or boots already on your waders, All Season's got them all. Stop in or shop online at allseasonsports.com. Tell them Captain Rick sent you. Fish on. Do you want to become a better hunter? A better angler? Then subscribe to the best outdoor publication in New York. 26 times a year you'll receive the latest news and information. Hunters and anglers want and need. New York Outdoor News is fun, entertaining, and informative. Learn the most timely outdoor news with the fish are biting, best hunting spots, lake maps, and more. Best of all, it's all about New York. New York Outdoor News. What's up, Salmon Slayers? Captain Rick here yet once again. We are at the Sandy Pond Steakhouse, one of our sponsors for Teamy Outdoors and The Run. Whether you just got off Lake Ontario or the famous Salmon River and you want to kick back, Sandy Pond Steakhouse is my recommendation. Here they offer boat slips, rooms, cocktails, and great food. If you don't want to be caught up in the hustle and bustle of downtown Pulaski, come to the majestic views of Sandy Pond Steakhouse. Tell them Captain Rick sent you. The fever. Intense. NASCAR Racing Experience. The authentic racing experience. Packages start at just $3.29. Thrilling. Yeah! The Rush. <laughs> the NASCAR Racing Experience. Call 1-877-RACELAP today. The official archery dealer of Teamy Outdoors is Wildy Hill Archery, home of all your hunting products. Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, Captain Rick, as you know, I'm just one of uh, probably a handful or so of other captains and guides that are involved in making this run and bringing it to you. Right now, we're going to send you over to Captain Tim Metter of Lots of Limits Charters, my boy. You'll get to see what he did, too. Salmon like 52 to 54 degrees. That's uh, 53 degrees down to 85 feet. What we're gonna do is uh, put our lures right around that depth and bury them up a little bit until we figure out what, what the magic number is today. We're 18 miles from Henderson Harbor out on the shipping lanes, right on the Canadian border, right between the main ducks, which is Canadian islands over here. And this is just basically a big shelf that drops off from 60 feet right to 130 to 140. And the bait tends to hang right on the edge of this, this wall right here, as we call it. It's a gamble, like anything else. Got a king on right now. Screaming line. He's running at you, so keep, keep reeling. Keep reeling, keep reeling. He's coming at the boat. Keep reeling. Don't stop, so that lure, no, oh, he's gone. Yep, lost him. 
they'll hold it right in their mouth, so they're not really hooked. They're just hanging on to it like it's a bait. Yeah. So when we get the line tight, I always give it a little good, just a hook set, just to try to get that hook to slide back in their mouth, just to just to implant it. You know, a lot of times they'll just grab it, and they'll have a hold of it, and they'll run with it, and they'll just let it go. So you got to get that hook in them. Guys, gotta keep it tight. Come on. Come on, guys. There he is again. Keep real. Pump back, drill down. Pump back, drill down. Take your time. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Swing in the mess. A lot of slack in a hurry. Now I know for the next one. You gotta relax a little bit and you just come off, that's all. It's fishing. It's uh <laughs> sometimes you don't do anything wrong, you just do everything you're supposed to and they just come off. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. You got him, Harold, just hang on him tight. Show these boys how it's done. Keep tight. He's in the dipsy, Tim, watch your dipsy. Go guys, go. Got it. Up and over. There you go. Doing good, Harold. Hang in there. Reel down on him, Harold. Reel down. Go easy. Take your time. There you go. They knew he wasn't ready yet. Take your time. Don't horse him. Let him do what he's got to do. They knew he wasn't ready. That sweat coming off your forehead. Good job. All right. Woo! Oh, boy. Right. <laughs> hey, Harold. That's a big one. Nice. I'm breathing a little hard. <laughs> he is huffing and puffing there a little bit. That was a, he gave him a good tussle there. I mean, he come to the boat, right to the boat there. He took off the first time, and he got him to the boat, and he took off again. Got him almost to the net, and he took off again. Nice fish. Never gonna see fish this big unless you go to Alaska. Other, but this is a lot closer, so it's right here. <laughs> We're locked. Keep reeling. about Henderson Harbor where we're at up here it's there's so many varieties of fish and so many different places that we could go to catch them if one spot isn't working we always got something else to fall back on. Pretty good day today Tim. Put them down put them in the right place at the right time and hold your mouth right and hopefully they bite. And they did that today. Day in and day out we'll probably bring I think we probably bring more fish back to the dock in this harbor than a lot of the other harbors just for that reason. Whether it be lake trout, brown trout, salmon, walleyes, we got so much to choose from up here that one thing isn't biting, we can go somewhere else and try something else. A lot of other guys can't can't do that or say that. I don't want you guys are waiting for. We're out here on Lake Ontario, third week of August, trying to catch on some salmon. We've got a couple other captains out here, including myself, trophydreamcatcher.com. Would love to have you on the boat. Right now, we're going to break off to a very special segment to my heart about a soldier named Chris Jones, who's up at Fort Drum. So uh, stick around and check it out. Up next, a touching story with Chris Jones, a wounded combat veteran, asking for your support of he and his brothers and sisters. Team E Outdoors is brought to you by Back Off, a healthy alternative with no regrets. Action Track Chair, helping the disabled to be enabled. Made in America store, 100% American made products. And by Scout Luck, 
Check out the Scout Look Deer Log app at Auto Weather Capture. Okay, welcome back to Team Me Outdoors. You guys know by now I'm Captain Rick. Behind me is our new hunter, Stacy Campbell. She's out here fishing with us right now. Her arms are a little sore. Uh, you know, the salmon are pulling away. Well, you know, a lot of us take walking, getting up every morning, even going to the bathroom, we take it for granted. Um, we've taken Chris Joan under our wing, myself along with a really good friend of mine, Stan Ouellette from the Deer Creek Motel, and got him back out in the outdoors along with uh, the action track chair, which is allowing him to get outdoors and go hunting with us. Uh, we took him turkey hunting, we're gonna get him out deer hunting, and uh, he's a very special person to me, and we're working on getting him his own chairs. Right now, you're about to see a very emotional piece with uh, Chris Jones, um, helped, helped by the action track chair. You know, he's a wounded warrior from, uh, you know, got hurt over in the war. So if you guys see any of our, our uh, soldiers out there, male, female, doesn't matter, just give them a big thanks and uh, let them know we really support them and love and care about them while they're over there defending us so we can still do stuff like this. So personal thanks from me to all of Stay tuned, good piece coming up. I call it the Tonka Tank. So we're gonna get you in here, show you the features, how things work, and let you run around before we get you on the boat. So you have a pretty good feel for the controls. It's uh, pr pretty much a wheelchair with tracks on it. It's all terrain, and it makes it possible for me to get around uh, outdoors. I'm blessed to be one of the few people that have actually gotten to go out on it. It's, you know, definitely made my mood different, and um, I'd like to see other people in it so they can get the benefits that I'm getting. That chair is a much better platform for, for him to get around today. Great design, great thing to, uh, to get in the hands of Wounded Warriors and, and anybody that, uh, that needs uh, to get around in a wheelchair. It's a, it's a great tool to, to, to get soldiers or, or any wounded uh, veterans out into the woods again and reconnect them with the woods or get them out there for the first time if they've never been out there. It will change your life. It's definitely changed mine and I've, I've only got to play with one, you know, twice. And I love it. I love, I love getting in it and just going. I can go anywhere I want. I can go over any kind of terrain with no problems. Psychiatry and therapy and stuff only does so much for uh, soldiers coming back, Marines going back, sailors going back, you know, any of them. Um, but being outdoors is definitely, uh, for me and for my buddies that I've talked to, being outdoors and stuff like that is really um, soothing, where uh, you could just come out and have fun. I enlisted back in, this year it was April of 06, Ended up uh, getting sent to 10th Mountain Division in Fort Drum. A year after I reached Fort Drum, I ended up going to Iraq. I ran missions over there for um, eight months before I got injured. Ended up getting hit with a, my vehicle got hit with a um, improvised explosive device, an IED. Now I'm wheelchair bound. I've lost the um, independence. I've lost my independence a little bit. I had good times in Iraq, but I definitely had a lot of bad times in Iraq. Um, lost a few of my buddies over there. And uh, quite a few got injured. But, you know, God be with the ones that are still here. And hopefully the ones that I did lose are in a better place. Um, You're going to have to cut the camera off, dude. I'm getting ready to start crying. Right. It's difficult. It's really difficult. But life's too short to sit here and dwell on something, you know, that you can't help. Uh, so I try to live every day to the fullest and uh, just enjoy life. You can't put a price tag on somebody's happiness or you can't put a price tag on on somebody's, uh, on somebody's life. It definitely gives back some independence, which, you know, you lose in a wheelchair. I couldn't even make it through a parking lot in my wheelchair, and then I can jump in this thing and pretty much go through whatever I want. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely a helpful, helpful instrument. I'm surrounded by great people, and 
you know, I would, I want to push on the people that, you know, don't make bad choices, you know, uh, reach out for help, you did, reach out for help, again, doesn't mean that you're weak, we all have problems, and, um, as brothers and sisters, we gotta stick together, and, uh, we can overcome it all, and we can overcome anything if we do it. You too can help out Chris Jones by going to Chris Jones on Facebook and look up the Chris Jones Project. What it's about briefly is we're trying to take donations to get this man a chair um, so he can enjoy the outdoors like the rest of us. So we've reached the end of another show again. So come tune in again next week in Fish Jones.